Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. Welcome into the latest edition of the Grittiest Take as our Philadelphia Flyers squeaked out one point in overtime against the Pittsburgh Penguins, thanks to Carter Hart. Now we face the Washington Capitals. This is going to be the preview to that. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boris. Subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. Let's get right into it. Just like with Pittsburgh, the Flyers did not take advantage of their weekend lineup. The Flyers have a chance to take advantage. Obviously, Alex the beast, the guy that's going to eventually break Gretzky's record, Ovechkin, is in this game. But you got Nicholas Backstrom, his center, his guy he's compatico with for all these years. He's out. You got TJ Oshia. You got Anthony Mantha out. Those are big parts of that team. Just like Pittsburgh was big, missing, excuse me, huge parts of their team, but the Flyers did not take advantage and really played a down game in that game and were lucky to escape with one point. This is a game... I'm looking for the Flyers to actually come out and establish themselves and not have to battle and grind through an entire game in order to just get that one point. You got to try to take advantage of teams when they're at their weakest. They have injuries on the table and what have you. This is what this Capitals team has. You got Backstrom, you got Mantha, and you got Oshi out. All key players. Obviously, you still got Ovechkin, you got Kuznetsov, and you got Tom Wilson in there. And then on the second line, you got. Elwer Sprong and LaPerriere, who's a heck of a talented young player. Well, probably They probably didn't expect to have to play him that high up consistently this early on. Then Hagelin, Dowd, Garnett Hathaway, Connor Sheary, Connor McMichael, a very solid young player himself, and Brett Leeson there for the Capitals. So they have some good youngsters mixed into this lineup, along with obviously veterans that are just do their thing and not nothing overly sexy like the Lars Elwes of the world, but they just do their thing. So this team still has a solid lineup, just like Pittsburgh still had a solid lineup even through the injuries. The thing is, obviously, we've seen our Flyers team play good against the Capitals team with these guys in in Alexander Ovechkin and TJ Oshie, at least. Of course, Mantha hasn't been there as long. So you should be able to, like I said against Pittsburgh, hopefully come out and play better against a weakened team. It did not happen against Pittsburgh. I'm looking for the Flyers to show that pound, show that bring it the broad energy against this team in Washington because they are weakened. They don't have three of their best players, and it's forcing guys to move up the lineup. One guy particularly um, that is really more of a third liner when it comes to having his output and that is more of a guy like Daniel Sprong, who does have three points, a plus six, does all the little things right. But usually when you talk about those guys that does all the small things right, that has a little bit of offense, you don't call them second liners. Those are more the third and fourth liners. So this Capitals guy have people pushed up the lineup. So the Flyers got to take advantage of that and try to pounce on that. It looks like Vitek Vanacek will get the start. It has Martin Ferrari with John Carlson. Obviously, they still have a hell of a defense. Dimitri Orloff with Nick Jensen, and then TVR. So we got the brothers playing tonight, of course, with the other brothers with the Reading Royals, Brandon Van Reems, like TVR with Justin Schultz. And then they have Scratch, Dennis Shalowski, and Matt Irwin. Then when it comes to the Philadelphia Flyers, we have Martin Jones. Marty Jones is going to get the nod tonight in net. Let's see what he's able to do. He's been a hell of a player this far for us in his hand for two games, and he's played well in those games. We had Nate Thompson, Patrick Brown, and Zach McEwen on the fourth line. Oscar Lindblom, Scott Lord, and JVR on the third. Fairby, Broussard, and Atkinson, of course, staying together on the second. And then G, Coots, and Konechny on the first. Then we got Provy with Braun, who's been a hell of a player this year, really stepping up. Sandheim with Risto. Sandheim looked better after those first blip games at the beginning of the year. He wasn't so sexy. And then Yandel with Seal, or didn't look good last game, but nobody looked good last game when it came to Travis Sandheim. Even Yandel, who's looked good the whole season, didn't look good last game. And Nick Seal, who's filled in well, didn't look good last game. That was just an off game for the overall team, but they just managed to get one point. But in this game, the Flyers, like I said, it's plain and simple. It, you just got to take advantage of these guys out of the line. Patrick, ba uh, Patrick Backstrom. Nicholas Backstrom is one of the best 200-foot players, defensive centers in the league. He's not in there. Take advantage of that. Afghani Kuznetsov is a good 200-foot player, but nowhere close to Nicholas Backstrom. And then you have weakened as you go down the center pool. You now have Nick Dowd as third line center, who is more of a fourth line center. So you got to take advantage of these, be able to attack. I've seen Scott Wong playing great, so I'm thinking maybe he'll be able to take advantage of that third line being weakened by the Capitals down there. And that Lord and Limblum line will be able to have some success in this game and really take advantage of that there. 
as well as JVR, who's, of course, on that line. So, Flyers, just be aggressive in this game. Come out, play a more clean and complete game. Don't have to grind through a team that has a lot of players out and some of their key players. Let's actually show up and play that Flyers energy hockey that the Flyers know they can play. This has been a preview to the Flyers and Capitals game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out, and let's go, Flyers. Let's get a W tonight. Peace.